hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so today we want to continue from our previous video yes we'll continue how to make a church hat in this video so if you are watching this video and you have not seen the previous video please watch that before you proceed to this this is a continuation of how to make a church hat we had the part one before this one so i'm going to put the link in the description box so you can watch before you proceed to this the next step i am doing now is to cover the edges of my brim my hat brim with peter sham ribbon you can use the same cinnamon we use the molding or blocking the art you can make a strip with your cinnamon and use that to cover this part of the art so with the help of my all-purpose hardened safe that's uhu glue is what i'm using to attach my peter sham ribbon to it so i make sure that once i apply the glue to the ribbon i allow it to dry a little and then place it on the parts and apply pressure just press it down very well for it to stay permanently so this is what i'm just going to do round Okay, at this point as you can see i've got it to the end the other end and i cut off the excess ribbon and i apply my glue folded the edge in once before i continue please don't mind my daughter praying at the moment they won't allow me be <laughs> so sorry please so i am just going to continue to fix it like that fix it like that and press it down and that is how to make a hat yes we've gotten to the point there where we need to just decorate this hat you can always decorate it wherever you want to decorate it with okay you can even place some um, fabrics you can mix colors if you want to so in my own case what i just did was to get my cinnamon bias strips that i have uh, made and um, i've ironed it very well and i'm just using that to cover the point where i have both the crown and the brim joined together so i'm using my uhu glue to do this as you can see so i would just like you to please watch this video to the end see how i'm going to embellish this it's just all about creativity it all depends on you you can even use fabrics you can mix colors you can mix colors with um, african print and color or whatever you can always mix colors you can always use different things to embellish with you can even use crinoline just using my needle and thread right there to tack the bias strip together to make sure that this uh, my bear strip stays in place or is well secured apart from the fact that i use glue i'm using my needle and thread to secure it at four different points you know it's just for us to have it well secured so that it doesn't come off later
okay i have my cinnamon strip with um, rolled edges which i'm going to be using to form a bow to embellish my heart okay if you're finding this strange and you like to learn more on heart making especially the basics yes i'm here to help you we have online classes where we teach the basics in millinery you so you don't find all this um strange to you okay so i'm going to be using this my bow to embellish my heart and the, all you just need to do at this point is to watch the whole procedure on my finishing and all that So at this point, I'm using the bow or my embellishment to cover the part where we have the ends of the bias strip joined together, okay? Wherever you have your sewing or where you have things that are not meant to be seen from the outside ending, you need to cover it with embellishment and that's exactly what we're doing. So that's the piece of rose and I have my feather like that to um, cover those parts just to make it look beautiful, you know, okay? I'll be using my glue as well and I use my needle and thread to secure this properly. Over to the inner part of the ass, I'll be using my Peter Sham ribbon to cover all the spots we have our thread. You know, we did some sewing and all that, so definitely we'll have a thread train on the inside, and this shouldn't be visible on the outside. So I'll be using my Peter Sham ribbon to cover that using my UHU glue. Okay guys, her heart is ready and we have come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you like this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, share with others. Yes, share, share this video please. And don't forget to subscribe if you're here too. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.